Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is continuing his direct message to the Biden administration that Israel will make its own decisions on the conduct of the war in Gaza. More from ILTV's Steve Leibowitz. Israel elects its government and no one else. That was the message of a very senior but unnamed Israeli official after the release of a U.S. intelligence report that warned Israel will be challenged by Hamas for years to come and that Netanyahu's coalition may be in danger. The U.S. assessment read, distrust of Netanyahu's ability to rule has deepened and broadened across the public from its already high levels before the war, and we expect large protests demanding his resignation and new elections. Speaking virtually to the APAC conference in Washington, Netanyahu rejected President Biden's criticism of his conduct of the war and insisted that to win the war, Israel must enter Rafah. To win this war, we must destroy the remaining Hamas battalions in Rafah. If not, if not, Hamas will regroup, rearm, and reconquer Gaza. And then we're back to square one. And that's an intolerable threat that we cannot accept. Netanyahu insisted that Israel was fighting the war while avoiding civilian casualties. We will finish the job in Rafah while enabling the civilian population to get out of harm's way. We've taken measures to minimize civilian casualties that no other army has taken in history. A senior Israeli official hit back at the U.S. intelligence report, saying those who elect the Prime Minister of Israel are the citizens of Israel and no one else. The comment continued, Israel is not a protectorate of the U.S., but an independent and democratic country whose citizens are the ones who elect the government. We expect our friends to act to overthrow the terror regime of Hamas and not the elected government in Israel.